Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are gonna learn about mean area rect and box points. We are gonna learn where is that here because these two functions are related with each other. Uh, mean area rect. Uh, before we learned about bounding rect, which is uh, directly drawing, directly giving the output of a rectangle, of a vertical rectangle. But mean area rect gives us a rotated rectangle, which is a uh, which is a rotated rectangle of minimum area and closing the input to the point set which is can be a count counter we can say and uh, today we will see how to get the minimum and closing rectangle of a counter how to get that with this function and this box points is uh, is box points this function helps us to use the rotated rectangle which gives this one as output uh, help us to use that rotated rectangle uh, to get the points of that rectangle I mean that rectangle has four points and this function helps us to get that rectangles four points okay let's directly pass to the code part in the previous video we already learned until this part let's see the output again we have an input like this in the right side and this is our output which is directly drawing bounding rect I will not uh, disable this rectangle drawing because we want to compare at the end with the mean area rect function okay and uh, first of all we can directly call uh, mean area rect which is this one and we are giving one contour uh, in input for example let's say the zero contour inside our contours and uh, this is the uh, giving us the output and for example we need to equalize this rectangle to a type variable like this and we can uh, write it actually also r okay like this and we can reach that objects for example angle we can reach and bounding rect and center point and points also we can read but uh, to get the points we will actually use the box points function this is not really the easy way but box points will uh, directly for this job so we are gonna use that also size is giving these uh, types we can reach from this rotated rectangle and for example let's say center and maybe to understand which it belongs to we can directly uh, put a circle inside out met the r dot center and radius let's say 5 or better 15 and scalar let's make it yellow and thickness let's say field and let's see the result okay that's zero counter this i mean so it's just putting the uh, center point now we are gonna learn how to draw rotated rectangle uh, to do that we are gonna use cv box points which is here and output this one we are gonna need to give a output for example uh, point out let's say okay and first of all we are giving the input rotated rectangle input and output will gonna be point out okay uh, this circle can be stay still this R center we can delete or we already see and now after box points we can write that for rectangle belongs to our rotated rectangle uh, let's write it standard see out point out okay let's see the result and now these four points we see as output which is belongs to point out which gives the output from box points function this uh, output uh, represent the four point of the rotated rectangle for this contour so we need to also visualize that and we need to draw that function by ourselves for example this is belongs to one point this is the second third and fourth point these uh, numbers represents and let's draw the line by ourselves so since we already learned line function we can do it by line function but it's better maybe 
first of all getting each of the uh, points to a variable then we can call them for example this is the uh, let's say the corner point one for example this is the one point and this is x for example rx or no need to do, define like that and this is we can call point out dot add since this is in float type this met output so we need to define it in float also and this is zero and this is zero also so this means now we are calling zero and zero zero column and zero rows is represented and this will be equal to 871 this one is equal to this one now so we need to do for each of that element we need to do this is the for example the second one this is a uh, first column and the zeroth row so we are gonna the first column and zeroth row so we need this is our first point belongs to the rectangle point corner and we need to do for each of them this is second one I will change the points later and this is the last one R5, R6, R7 and R8 ok uh, this is uh, ok zero just I need to change the row part the second one is the represent the row so this is the first row which is this one and second row and third row the second row is this and this is the third row now only I need to uh, call our line function which we already learned in the previous video how to draw line this let's draw in the out mat and the point one is r1 r2 and from r1 r2 to second corner of rectangle which is r3 r4 and then we need to define color let's make this also yellow and thickness let's make 5 so this is the first line of rectangle let's draw the second one okay from here we can draw 5 to 6 and let's continue 5 to 6 to maybe 7 to 8 and again 7 to 8 to 1 to 2 I think uh, let's see the result okay I'm wrong from here I need to draw maybe R3 R3 to 4 or again wrong I don't know <laughs> again wrong yeah let's see again from 1 to 2 3 to 4 okay this is 3 to 4 then should be 5 to 6 5 to 6 okay should be like this I think ah okay this is the correct one now we have the co uh, rotated rectangle uh, which mean area rect gives us and we are drawing with the help of box points because it gives us the output of this uh, four corner points of that rotated rectangle uh, you can also compare with the bounding rect this is I said to you it's just drawing a vertical rectangle but mean area rect uh, drawing the minimum area rectangle enclosing rectangle for this contour this is the minimum rectangle you can uh, draw for this contour without uh, excluding its points okay let's draw each of these for each of these what I need to do just I need to okay maybe this put it in a four just like in the previous example for bounding rect let's put it and this is I what else I think this should be work let's see okay it's working you can see and you can compare with this output uh, this is just drawing for example some of them already uh, merging with the blue rectangle for example this one because even the mean area rect gives the same output so the bounding rect just merging with that but for this you can see bounding rect is not the minimum rectangle we can draw and also you can compare with each with the others 
and uh, with this video we learned about mean area rect and box points so i'm done for this video see you in the next videos